In this lab, we're going to do the animal behavior lab, and we're going to observe some organisms, and then we're going to put them in a choice chamber and see if they have a preference for, for one condition versus the other. So the first part is just observing the organisms for a little while. And normally this lab is done with pill bugs, but we're doing today, we're going to use these from the pet store. These are Dubai roaches that can be done with really any organism, but you can get mealworms at a local pet store. These roaches are from a pet store. You can order pill bugs or even find pill bugs out in the yard. So what we're doing is just observing them for a few minutes and then we'll put them in a choice chamber. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to use a choice chamber and we're going to put our bugs. Actually, what we need to do first is cut a paper towel. Okay, I've taken a paper towel and cut some circles, so I'm going to put one on each side and I'm gonna wet one of them so if we got a spray bottle with some water so we're gonna have a wet side and we're gonna have a dry side and then so we're gonna leave this paper towel dry and I'm gonna put the bugs in the middle Escapey, I think. Scoop this guy up. So I've got 10, and I've got these nice little lids. And what we're going to do is we are going to record how many bugs are on each side for 10 minutes, recording our data every 30 seconds. So I'm gonna put a timer on here, and we're gonna record for 10 minutes.
Okay, there's our 10 minute mark. So I'm going to stop the timer. Clear it. Okay, looks like they do have a preference. I'm going to actually take this lid off. It looks like they have all actually gone underneath the dry paper towel. So there, it's like all 10 of them are on the dry side. So we could also do chi-square analysis to see if there is a statistical difference between one side versus the other. What we're going to do next for the second part of the experiment is we are going to put them now into a new choice chamber. And this time we have sugar water on one side and we have regular water on the other side and we're going to see if they have a preference for sugar water versus regular water. So I'm going to put them in the middle to start off with. And we're going to again observe for 10 minutes. So we're going to observe again for 10 minutes and see if they have a preference for one side or the other. Okay, that's 10 minutes, so we can stop our timer here and reset that. And so what we can do now is we can graph our data and we can calculate chi-square to see if there is in fact a preference for one side over the other, sugar, cotton ball soaked in sugar water versus cotton ball soaked in water. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put them actually back in the original choice chamber with wet and dry on each side. And this time I'm gonna leave the 
paper towel off because it's hard to tell if they had a preference for the wet or sorry the dry or if it was just dark under there and they have a preference for dark so I'm going to put them back and we're gonna see if there was actually a preference for the dry or if it was more about the moisture a little bit wet. Okay. So, I'm going to restart and we're going to observe for another 10 minutes. Wet versus dry. The timer will start. Okay, there's our 10 minute mark. So that concludes the Animal Behavior Lab. Now we can graph our data, we can analyze our data, we can even do chi-score analysis to see if there is a statistical difference between one side versus the other. There are all kinds of experiments you could set up in the choice chamber, lots and lots of different choices. These are just a couple of examples for collecting data.